uh, a bill was introduced, um, which I, I think just unleashes a Pandora's box, opens a Pandora's box uh, of um, unintended consequences. Attorney John Brown is referring to Vice Speaker B.J. Cruz's Bill 430, which essentially makes legal something that Guam's WIC program has already been doing, which is purchasing things like infant formula through a cooperative or joinder method. The idea behind cooperative or joinder purchasing is to allow a small island like Guam to combine its purchasing power with other places in order to get a better price. We've also found that uh, this idea of cooperative uh, purchasing could be uh, saving for a lot of agencies uh, in the government of Guam and so I'd like to see this move forward but uh, it, it is a necessary uh, provision and um, we'll try to get it passed as soon as possible. Brown on the other hand says that the problem with the bill is that it gives too much blanket authority to government. Guam agencies, allowing them to purchase things by joining other procurement contracts anywhere in the nation. My main concern with this law is that there's no accountability, there's no reference to uh, getting the lowest price. It's just the, the whole point is any agency can go get whatever they want off of any other contract that exists. And uh, I, I just think that's way too much discretion to allow to be allowed to anybody. Brown believes that there are other ways to solve this issue. For example, authorizing only the Department of Public Health to enter these types of joinder agreements just for the WIC program. Brown thinks that cooperative or joinder buying has benefits, but any legislation enabling it must be much more comprehensive. Let's put this, this hysteria about WIC behind us uh, and move on then to the more interesting question of how we might actually use cooperative buying in cases where the federal government doesn't require it. It has, some, it has some potentials for us, but we have to be very careful about it. Vice Speaker Cruz, on the other hand, shared a letter from the USDA with PNC in which the USDA agrees with the Attorney General and recommends the passage of the bill. That's what we're trying to do, is to have a specific authorization to allow government agencies to try to procure the best possible deal for the people of Guam so we can save money, which will eventually be spread around the community anyway. Uh, any money that we save in government will be spent someplace else in personnel or in some other thing that's going to be purchased locally.